Have you ever tried to make a house with just pre-made rooms? I sure haven't. So let's try that today. I'm going to include the challenge every room is a different pack with this pre-made rooms challenge as well. Just to make my life a little bit harder. I'm going to use James Turner's random pack generator. As you can see, I don't have a lot of packs. So this challenge might be a bit more difficult than other Simmers challenge, I guess. So what I'm going to do is lower this this number to one and we're gonna do like each room separately first and then put them all together at the end so that we have a good idea of what we have and where we can place everything and try to figure that out so let's start off with the first pack and it's cats and dogs hell yeah let's go to the pre-made rooms and filter the packs by cats and dogs let's see what pre-made rooms they have so they have a bathroom bedroom living room another living room dining room also a kids area oh they also have a backyard nice and of course a kit i uh, know oh, never mind that's a bar area but that's all we have what even a kitchen damn okay okay i think i'm gonna choose the bathroom but this green color they they give here and place that on the lot now i'm just gonna place it here so the thing about this pack is i can maybe change the door orientation or the windows but the main things like the bath the toilet and stuff like that should stay in the general position it comes in so i think i might just add a window in here just so that the stink doesn't fill up the whole room when someone maybe poops in there or the cat maybe poops in here because you know that cat dookie stinks so i'm just gonna leave this here and we're gonna go on to the next pack let's generate tiny living stuff I think Tiny Living Stuff actually has like a good variety of stuff. I'm not sure if they have pre-made rooms. We'll have to check. But I really love their items. So let's see what they have. Cool. So they have pre-made rooms. I think this tiny room would be good. Maybe we can have a guest room or something. And then like a main bedroom or a kid's room. We'll, ha we'll have to see how this build turns out. So I think this will be a guest bedroom. I think the first color is also the best one, to be honest. So let's place this. Again, I can change the, the window placement and the door placement. That's a guest bedroom. On to the next one. City living. Let's go. I have a feeling city living has a big variety of pre-made rooms. Because it's only apartments in city living. Well, not only, but mostly. Yeah, I was right. They do have a big variety of pre-made rooms. Damn. I think I'm going to choose this living room because it's nice and big, and but it has a nice big TV, at least. And I want a big TV because other rooms don't seem that good. So I think I'm going to take this purple and place it down. There we have a living room, bedroom, and bathroom done. I think we're going to do a kitchen or another bedroom next. Let's see what we get. Snowy Escape. Yes. The pack Snowy Escape is one of my favorites that I have. I freaking love it. <laughs> the kitchen isn't bad. I don't think we're going to have a hot spring. The bedroom, I'm... I also really love Kotatsu sit seating area is also really good. I think I might go for either the kitchen or the bedroom. Because I don't know what pack I'm going to get next. Maybe the, that pack has a better kitchen. I think I'm going to choose the kitchen. Yeah, let's go for it. I really, really like this pack so much. <laughs> Just look at mm, I can't get over it. <laughs> but yeah, that's the kitchen. Tiny living again. Oh, that's not too bad. I think I'm going to have a second floor and have the main bedroom and bathroom upstairs and then the rest downstairs i'm gonna choose this bathroom with the blue wall wait i haven't seen this before you can choose each individual item when did this happen that's amazing does it with every room e even the lamp even the books that's amazing oh i didn't know this existed in this game but anyway it's the upstairs bathroom let's see if we can get a bedroom or a dining area i haven't had the realm of magic before dream, dream home decor let's see what they have oh see here's a good kitchen as well but i like my kitchen that i chose let's choose this teenage bedroom and change the colors a bit i like this white one child's bedroom and let's see about a main bedroom and a dining room realm of magic finally this is gonna be an interesting room okay so i don't have a lot of options i think i'm gonna choose the bedroom i like this
this color and i think i'm gonna get this for the main bedroom oh it's quite big <laughs> okay so i think the only thing we need now is another bathroom for upstairs and a dining area give me a good one please city living let's see what bathrooms and dining rooms city living has so the only bathroom they have is this one and the only dining room they have is this i think i'm gonna choose this bathroom for the parents let's just put this over here let's search for that dining area tiny living i don't think tiny living has a dining area let's check if they don't i'm gonna have to generate it again they don't have a dining area okay so i'm gonna have to generate that again city living again wait i don't want that dining area though i guess i don't have a choice now they don't even have a color option okay so i think the last last thing i want to get is an outside area the only one that had one was realm of magic i just want to filter the packs i do have and see if there is any that has an outside area cats and dogs Dog City Living and Realm of Magic has one. Try to see which one of the packs I get. Either Cats and Dogs, City Living or Realm of Magic. If I get either of those, I'm, go I'm gonna have to choose the one I get. But if I do get uh, Dream Home Decor or Snowy Escape, I'm gonna have to generate again. So that I can actually get one of those three that I that I need. I got lucky. I'm gonna get the outside area for Cats and Dogs. That makes me happy. <laughs> Let's choose blue. My plot is not large enough so i removed all the rooms just one block away from each other so that they don't connect and form a whole room i'm gonna place this here i think now we're ready to assemble this house <laughs> i'm just gonna place it up here so that i have enough space needed for the actual rooms on the ground floor now let's see what we can do with these ones that we have so i feel we should start off with the living room being in front and then the other rooms connecting to that i'll have to move some of this furniture the essence is saying the same don't worry about it i'm gonna make all the doors brown because it feels like this house is brown <laughs> except the bathroom and the dining area uh where am i gonna put the stairs okay so i made the dining room its original size and made the kitchen a bit bigger now i am going to reorientate some of the things in the bathroom so that the door is accessible from the living room and change some of the windows around see where i can fit the stairs to the first floor and see how we can make this work now what i did was i put the kitchen here made it bigger and then i extended the bathroom just a bit so that there is space to actually walk into this room and then i placed the stairs on this corner right in front of the door I moved some sculptures around so what i'm gonna do now is go to the first floor and arrange those rooms try to connect them of course and see what comes out the other end i want to actually quickly get a study so that that's maybe the entryway up there we got dream home decor they have quite a number of studies i think i'm gonna maybe choose the small one i think this bigger study might work more there is enough space for two doors there and i think i'm gonna place either a bathroom on this side or the kids room now i'm going to i'm gonna put this ensuite bathroom i think i'm gonna put it over here and move some stuff around in the parents bedroom so that there's enough space for a door now i just moved this door over here the painting and the basin and in the bedroom i just moved this mirror and bassinet just more towards the corner now it's time for the exterior okay so i did all the windows i just used cats and dogs for the windows and just place them around the house i used white just for all the windows for this parents bedroom i'm gonna put some columns because it feels like the overhang is a bit too much but i'm gonna put the roofing on and try to see how i can connect the outside with the inside so this is what i what we have at the moment i just put some brick texture around this whole house put some roofing on here to match the interior because as you can see there's a lot of dark browns and neutral colors going on so i wanted to mimic that on the outside as well i change around the colors of the windows to a more dark dark brown because it felt a bit off having this brick texture behind this white window i also made a porch around here in the front i'm gonna add some railings around later 
I put this training course here at the back and I also place a door right where the kitchen is. Now what I'm going to do is extend these walls until it connects to the house. I see it doesn't want to connect to the actual house. I'm just going to put some bushes and maybe a tree there so that it closes that space up. Now what I want to do more is put some landscaping and decorations on the outside so that it looks a bit more lively. I just put some flowers and some other shrubs around here where the stairs are and I also just place some trees with also just some shrubbery around and then I'm gonna try and decorate the front area with also some maybe some seating some railings and also just potted plants scattered around I placed down the plants around here added some in front and I also added some gardening boxes here what I'm gonna do is try to add a pond here in front just to make it a bit more interesting I'm gonna add some leaves in here to make it a bit more pond like and as well as some water lilies so that it actually looks like a pond yeah that's the exterior done i think it came out pretty nice pretty homey very neutral and brown but let's see if i did everything right in the interior and let's do a quick walkthrough as well but yeah i see now what i'm gonna do maybe is just put it at the back of the tv i don't know why it just it kind of looks all right in my opinion you walk through the living room then you go straight to the dining area oh uh, wait let's just move this over here there we go move straight into the dining area and from the dining you move into the kitchen it's a very brown kitchen but that's okay and from the living room you go into the guest bathroom let me just move this carpet over here because i saw it clipping through this wall and then from this uh living room you go to the guest bedroom everything seems to be in order here let me just oh yeah let me just move this like that that's the bottom floor done let's go up to the first floor from the first floor you go into the study slash workspace and then from here you go either to the kids room or to the parents master bedroom everything looks okay here you go to their bathroom very small but they don't need much from the workspace you go into the master bedroom it's very like dark in here but you have like white furniture it's it's a good contrast it's definitely much different than the rest of the house and then from the parents bedroom you go straight to their ensuite and then for the outside area i have this dog training i i don't know if it's just dogs or if it's cats as well but animal training area here with some seating and some plants as well so that's it for this challenge i hope you enjoyed this experiment i certainly enjoyed trying this challenge out with a little bit of a tw twist as well let me know in the comments down below how this house turned out and make sure to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye Ooh.